Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today, I'm going to be doing a this versus that video comparing two IT Cosmetics products to foundations. And I say foundations because they're technically not foundations. One is the Bye Bye Foundation, which claims to be a full coverage moisturizer. And then the other one is a CC cream. They both have SPF 50. They're both in the same shade. I feel like my skin looks pretty... It doesn't look like I'm wearing two different foundations, in my opinion. I did try this Bye Bye foundation in my last video, and I did say in my video that I thought it was very comparable to the CC cream that I use on a weekly basis. I literally wear this Monday through Friday when I go to the office. So I did want to do this video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a full day wear test. I'm going to be wearing both of these foundations for the next 10 hours, doing check-ins, vlog style, all that fun stuff. I currently have been wearing both of them for an hour, very comparable, but I had a lot to say during the application process. And I imagine I'm going to have a lot more to say as the day goes on. So just a quick and friendly reminder, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you and also click that bell button this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. So without further ado, let's stop battling and let's get on to my this versus that IT Cosmetics foundation wear test video. I am going to be moisturizing my eyes. So to moisturize my eyes today, I'm going to be using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, spread them on my two ring fingers, and just put them underneath and on top of my lids. The focus of today's video is the foundation. We wanna see how the foundation wears on both sides of my face. So I'm gonna be putting the Bye Bye foundation on this side, and then I'm gonna be putting the CC cream on this side. I really hope that they are as comparable as I think they are, because I don't wanna look crazy. I'm actually going out, I'm going to my cousin's house. I don't wanna look crazy. I don't wanna look like I'm wearing two different foundations. NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper, you guys know I use this all the time. Hydrates and plumps the lips. I'm gonna be skipping moisturizer. I'm just gonna prime. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. One full pump, we'll see how far that can get us. I think this is a great primer. The only thing is, is that it smells like alcohol. Does it have alcohol in it? I don't know, but it does a really great job of holding on to my foundations. And considering I'm gonna be doing a full day wear test, I definitely need something that's gonna grip it and keep it in place. I got a bunch of sponges, let's get into it. Like I said, I'm gonna do the Bye Bye foundation on my right side your left. I'm really bad with my left and my right. I'm going to be doing the CC cream on my left, your right. We're going to see. I mean, the packages look exactly the same. They both have SPF 50. I don't really know like what the difference between the two is. They have the same exact directions and they're both in the shade medium. So let's get into it. I'm going to take the Bye Bye foundation first. So I'm going to take half a pump of the Bye Bye foundation. I'm going to apply that with a flat brush. This is just a Sephora charcoal brush and I'm just gonna put this all over the skin and this is going on much better than it did last time and I think I do need a full pump because I am using a brush and I think it's kind of eating some of the product take a real technique sponge I'm gonna pick up what's ever left on my hands and I'm just going to blend this into the skin and with this product I'm gonna take my time blending this bye bye foundation doesn't really sink into my skin that well I mean I'm a little bit more hopeful because every time that I have applied this previously I've used a moisturizer and I think it's just like too much moisturization for my skin and like I don't know if you guys can see but as I'm bouncing this the foundation kind of bunches in spots I was doing this the last time I applied this on camera as well and I know that this doesn't claim to be a foundation but it does claim to be a full coverage moisturizer I would say this is like medium I mean you can still see my scars on my chin. I'm gonna use a different flat brush and we're going to hop into the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This also has SPF 50 and this is also in the shade Medium. That is one full pump, that is a lot of product. I'm gonna be using this Mikasa F300 foundation brush. I've never noticed this with the CC Cream, but with the Bye Bye foundation, this side definitely does oxidize on me. It gets darker as it dries down onto the skin, so when you put that foundation on. The shade that it first goes on is not the shade that it actually is. Application wise, you need a lot less of the CC cream. This goes on a lot thicker than the Bye Bye foundation. A different Real Technique sponge. I'll take just like a dab of that and I'm gonna pat this into the skin. Again, taking my time to really blend this out. I think the CC cream is thicker. What do we think? I feel like they both look the same. Honestly, I think this finish looks better on my skin than this one. This one looks like it's laying on top of my skin a little bit more than the CC cream. 
I have combo skin. It is combo leaning definitely more dry than oily. Um, I'm a little bit oilier in the summer in my T-zone, but nonetheless, I'm pretty dry all year round. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spray both of my sponges with some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Let's just see if this helps it look a little less cakey. I wanna make this foundation moisturizer, whatever the heck you wanna call it, work for all of us. Spray it and bounce it into the skin. Okay, so on this side, we have the CC cream. I think it looks pretty good. My skin looks pretty uniformed. I mean, you can see some imperfections on my skin a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and make this a little bit more full coverage with concealer. So it's not full, full coverage. You're gonna see some imperfections. Again, this is the CC cream side, but I think overall it lays over my pores nicely. I don't look too patchy and it doesn't look like the foundation is sitting on my skin. This side is definitely more shiny, which you can see my pores a little bit more. It's just like highlighter. If you use a foundation that's a little bit dewier, if you use a highlighter in certain areas, it's really gonna emphasize those pores. So for me, you can see my pores a little bit more. I'm a little bit shinier. Like right here, I have a lot of pores and you can really see them. I hope you can see them in the camera. Whereas on this side, the CC cream is a little bit more matte. Still has a nice shine to it, but it's a little bit more matte, so you can't really see my pores as much. Both of them are kind of bunching up on me around my mouth. I would say the CC cream is a little bit more bunched on this side than the Bye Bye foundation on this side, but hopefully with the wear time, my oils will poke through and mix in a little bit more. It'll uncling from those dry patches because I'm really dry in here and I'm also very dry in here. Although I get oily in my T-zone, I'm also very dry in my T-zone. I have very complicated like combo skin. These are the areas that I really like to pay attention to when I'm doing a wear test. So over here where my pores are, what do my pores look like? Are they big? Are they not? They're definitely bigger on my bye-bye side. And then I wash around my mouth because I'm very dry like all in here. Now I'm going to lay down some concealer, Tarte Tape Shape, and I'm just gonna put this where I typically put my concealer or where I need a little bit more coverage. Ardell Glam Touring Contour and Highlighting Stick. I'm only gonna be using the contour side and I'm just going to contour my face. Morphe Chocolate Hill GH08. And this is definitely blending a little patchy over this Bye Bye Foundation, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna just blend it until we can't blend it anymore. And moving on to the CC side. I think the side is blending out a lot better. Real Technique sponge. And just really blend this out. I find that this contour is really easy to blend out typically, especially with a sponge. I just think that like this side is really grabbing the contour and making it sit really weird on the skin. But I think this side looks a lot better than this side. What do you guys think? a smaller eco tool sponge makeup revolution this is my luxury baking powder banana powder you guys know i love this especially to set the entire face so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to put that in the palm of my hand patting it into the sponge like so and i'm going to press this into the skin. Now I'm doing this because I really wanna give both of these a shot. I don't find that any of my makeup is really blending over this Bye Bye foundation well at all. So if I lay down a powder like this and then I go in with my bronzers and my blushes and other powders, they should lay down a little bit better than if I were to put them over a cream. Because if you think about it, if you put a powder which is dry over a cream, which is like damp, it doesn't blend as well because they just like adhere to one another. Go ahead and do the CC side. This side looks very cakey over here. Like it just looks like that powder is just sitting on top of my skin. Whereas the CC side, it looks more natural. Very patchy on this side, which is really bothering me. And then to set my under eyes, I'm gonna be using my Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I love this stuff. If you have dry under eyes, you will really like this stuff. This is like the most hydrating powder I think I've ever used. JH07.
Can you see how like powdery this is? It kind of is just like laying very weird. Whereas on this side, it looks a lot more natural and it looks like satiny. It still feels like really velvety and nice. But this one's just a little patchier in the pore area. All right, let's go ahead and just reinforce that contour. We'll put some blush on and then we'll call it a day. Well, I'm gonna check in with you guys, so we won't necessarily call it a day, but we'll be done with the application process. Bronzer today, I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer. This is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Golden Gal. Luxie 660, this is a foundation brush, but you can use whatever. And I love this bronzer because I feel like it's really hard to overdo it with this bronzer because it's really nice. And for me, I need a cool tone. So if you're someone that looks better with cool tones, you'll really like this bronzer a lot. Mm. And this is going on really powdery on the bye bye side as well. Bronzer is definitely patchier on this side, but I feel like I'm just like reiterating myself over and over again. So. I think this CC cream is really where it's at for me. I definitely want to clean up this side because this bronzer looks really wonky. I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because this is my favorite powder to bake with. I feel like this is gonna be a real bad idea. I feel like it's gonna make this side even more powdery and cakey, but I wanna do all of the steps that you guys would do when wearing such a product like this, when wearing your foundation, because I want you to know like what you're getting yourself into. So I'm just throwing on this beard down the sides of my nose. Okay, and we're gonna leave this for just a few minutes and while I do that, I'm gonna hop off camera and do my brows and I'll meet you guys right back here and we'll dust off our bake together. I always say that I don't like this color, but then I end up liking this color, but this is the Colab Shape and Shade Brow Pencil in Auburn. I feel like it's a little red for my brows, but I kind of like what it does for my brows. I don't know. But then to counteract that redness, I did throw on a tinted brow gel. Um, I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. This is the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Brownie Brows. You guys know I love this, but let's go ahead and dust off the bake. I gotta be honest, while I was baking, well, I still am baking. So in the process of baking, I should say, my skin feels really, really itchy on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the bake with a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe E53. Oh wow, and that came off really nicely. Okay, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, and Resi. Throw that on with my trusty highlighter brush. This is an SL Miss Glam SG62. I love this. I'm just throwing this on the face. Colab, this is the Soft Spot Sheer Blush in the shade Just For Fun for just a light wash of color. I don't want like too much. I'm gonna keep that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna keep it a little further back today. I feel like this side is like meshing a lot better than this side. Like the highlighter looks way more natural on this side and it's kind of sitting in my pores and clinging to my imperfections more on the bye-bye side. Just feel like this bye-bye foundation is just not for me, but we're gonna give it the day. We gotta give it the day because this is a wear test and I don't wanna judge them too much too soon. I'm gonna be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to set the face. We put a lot of powder on. I'm gonna hop off camera and I'm gonna do my eyes and then we will move on to the lips. I went a little crazy with the eye look. There's a lot of rhinestones on my eyes. I have false lashes. I know you're probably looking at me like, who the hell is this girl? Cause we don't know her. Who is she? I don't know. As for the lips, I used my Koki Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose. And then I went in with my trusty Maybelline Blushing Beige lipstick just over top of that. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a few hours. I'm gonna vlog style. I'm gonna go hang out with my cousins and I will definitely be sure to ask them which side of my face looks better. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope no one thinks I look like a lunatic in this makeup. All right guys, a quick check-in. Do you see this? I got mascara on my uh, car seat, but totally believable, huh? I've been wearing this for three and a half hours and I have to say I'm liking the Bye Bye foundation a little bit better than I've been. But this side, the CC cream side is so much better. If you can look, like see how that highlight is just like flawless. It looks really natural. But like on this side, it's like a lot more patchier and you can kind of see where I put it. 
the highlighter blended in a lot better and I think like the contour blended in better on the CC cream side than it did on the Bye Bye foundation side. But otherwise, I feel like my skin looks really great. I'm gonna go to my cousin's like barbecue kind of thing. So I'm gonna be outside for a little while. So I feel like the next check-in or two check-ins from now will really be like the true test getting my sweat on being in the sun wearing this stuff so i will check in with you guys a little bit i'm definitely going to ask my cousins which side they think looks better so we're going to take a little poll in this vlog it's going to be a lot of fun but so far i'm happy with both okay so today gianna we're doing a wear test i didn't tell her which is which she knows nothing so we're doing a foundation wear Can test I, oh so i was gonna guess lashes of it cosmetics okay one side is one one of their foundations <gasps> and the other side is another which side of my face do you think looks better? First of all, I couldn't even tell you had two different on. All right, turn. Okay. Hmm, that side looks very, um, you look like a little brown on your forehead on this side. On this side, okay. This like matches your skin a little bit more and is more sheer on this side. Okay. Wait, what's the question? Which side of my face do you think looks better? Still Honestly, this side. Okay, all that right. That is more caked on. This looks more caked on. G thinks this side. Vlog. It's very dark in this vlog. Autumn, do you want to be in the vlog? I have oh, a question. No. I'm yeah. taking a poll. It's just a question. So, I'm wearing... Autumn does not know anything. G, you can One be in the vlog. side, the other side. I'm wearing Which two side? different foundations on my face. Okay. This Which side of my face do you think looks better? Side A. Side B. Okay. Turn to side B. I know my answer. Again. And side B? Side B. Wow. Interesting. Okay, why? Do you have a reason? I feel like it looks smoother. Wow. Okay. Damn it. The color looks brighter. Okay. Okay. I feel like it just. Okay. Wow. Now, wh why don't you tell the people why? What, why do you think the other side looks better? I said this matches your skin tone more. That looks a little more sheer. Like I just like how that looks more. Okay. This is more of a face beat kind of. You know. Like more full. Like coverage? that's more natural. More full coverage. You're saying? Yeah, that has more full coverage. This is more full coverage. Okay. Correct. I agree with do you. Do you want to know? What it is? I don't even know what we're asking. Which one's what? Oh, what okay. are the two things? Well, one side I'm wearing It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation, which is like more full side? coverage moisturizer. And then this side I'm wearing their CC cream. Oh. But I think I this side BB looks cream. better. Okay. Because I feel like if you look at my highlight, it looks like smoother, whereas like over here, it it's yeah. more like textured. Yeah, I like see I feel marks like your skin right there. I feel like this one okay. is right. more full coverage, but my products didn't lay on top of it as nice as okay. this side. No, all right. Now, which side of my face? I love you. I have let me see. On. Let me see. No, I have a little bit on. I have a little bit on. I like this side of your face better. Is that your good side? It's like. Oh, okay. So, so thanks for playing. <laughs> This is a lot of hours later and we need a tiebreaker. We're taking a poll. Okay. I didn't tell him what the poll's about, right? Hi everybody. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, I put two foundations on my face, one on each side of my face. Which side of my face do you think looks better? Don't turn, okay. don't cheat. I'm not. There's a lot of analysis going on right now. I know, I appreciate the analysis. Did you go like from like right down Literally the middle? Literally right down the middle. Uh, Literally right down the middle. Can you see? Yeah, I can see and I can see the difference too. Oh, what's the difference? Like I feel like uh -huh. this one is a little bit more translucent. Like I'm getting like some of your freckles here. Okay. Um, and I feel like this one is more masking, but it also looks, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This one looks a little bit more makeup-y to me. If that makes any sense. Like in a good way or a bad way? I feel like, like which it, side do you like better? I feel it's like really you can go asking. either way. Like I feel like... I feel which like side they, do you prefer? I feel like they both look really good here. Here I could see through this more. So I don't know if... Okay. Like I don't know if that's the product. Uh -huh. But this also looks more makeup-y. So it's like caking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think this side's better. I agree. High five. Okay. Tie breaker. I'm a makeup... Pro. I mean, you did a really good job of analyzing that, but I thought the same thing. I feel like they both look good, though. Yeah, they do both look good. My eyes are really killing me. I need to take these things off. Okay, well, that's it. I'm going to go uh, do my outro and give my final thoughts, but thanks for your input, babe. Love you. Thanks. Love you, too. All right, guys, I have been wearing this foundation for the last 10 hours. I did put it on around 11 a.m., and now it is 9 24 so it's been a long time. I am very tired. My lashes are really coming off 
and I've just had enough. I totally agree with everything that Mike said, which was highly impressive that he uh, was able to analyze and really give us our final thoughts. So I literally wore both of these all day. I feel like my skin looks pretty good. I'm really not that shiny. I spent a lot of the day outside. It was hot, it was humid, I was sweating, and I gotta say, like both sides of my face look pretty good but i definitely think that this side does look more makeup-y than this side this is definitely more natural which is more my vibe so i really think it has a lot to do with what you're looking for in this product if you want something that's more full coverage where you really can't see that much i definitely would do the bye bye foundation although for me like i don't think the coverage is really like that much better like yeah you can see my freckles on this side of my head like mike said but like i just feel like this side just looks cakier so maybe you don't really notice the freckles or my skin as much as you notice like the foundation kind of like pilling up it's kind of like bunching in areas and it just looks like patchier and it looks like I'm wearing makeup. And honestly, the goal of makeup, at least for me, everyone is totally different. And I respect every single person's choice because makeup is really a preference. Makeup is what you want makeup to be. What I like in a makeup look could be totally different than what you like. But for me and my preference, I like to look like I look great without you knowing that I'm wearing makeup. Like, I mean, it's obvious that I'm wearing makeup. I mean, shit, I have false lashes and rhinestones around my eyes. So I clearly didn't wake up like this, but I like it when my skin looks like, oh wow, like she has great skin. When really it's like, oh wow, she has a really good foundation. It looks like her skin. So all in all, I think it has been the CC cream for me this entire time. Although I'm not mad at the Bye Bye Foundation. I think it does a really good job. If you're gonna use either one of these, regardless of which one, the Bye Bye Foundation or the CC Cream, you definitely need to exfoliate your face first. I think that they're both very hydrating. That being said, they cling to whatever skin on your face is dry. So if you have dry patches, it's gonna cling to that dry patch because it's made to moisturize your face. Wash your face using a cleanser and then use some kind of exfoliant. I really like the Dermalogica micro daily exfoliant which is like a physical exfoliant so it's like a powder that you put in a little bit of water and it's like granules that take off the dead skin on your face or you can use a chemical exfoliator personally i like the paula's choice it's their two percent bha which is a chemical exfoliator i put that on a cotton pad rub that all over my face and that takes away the dead skin if you're interested in either one of them i will link that down below i think that if you have oily skin you definitely might want to skip priming your face all together, wash your face, exfoliate it, and then put either the CC or the Bye Bye Foundation on because they are thicker formulas. They are meant to be moisturizers. They are not meant to be foundations. So I really hope that this video was informative. I hope that you took away a lot of information and I hope that maybe if you were deciding between both products, you have a better idea of which one would work better for you, your makeup preferences, and maybe, you know, your skin preferences. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. This way I know that you're interested in this video and you would like to see more videos like this one. If there are any products that you want me to test for you, prepare for you, please be sure to let me know down below in the comments section. I'm more than happy to do whatever kind of videos you guys want me to do. I'm here to help teach you about makeup, skincare, hair, whatever it is, beauty. I'm down to figure it out and film a video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a great time as always, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.